بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد fasting brings joy to the believer and for anyone who's ever fasted especially fasting the holy month of Ramadan you'll find much happiness and pleasure during that holy month bi'idnillah and some of the pleasures that a person receives is that when breaking their fast they receive the pleasures after having restrained themselves the pleasures of eating and drinking and partaking in that which is lawful for them and that is a great joy after experience just a pinch or a little bit of what those people who are whose uh, wealth and whose who are impoverished and who who don't eat much or don't eat anything and don't have anything to drink when fasting while fasting it gives you a chance to reflect on the blessings that you receive and how precious food and drink is and that it's a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fan abi hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qal rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam للصائم فرحتان يفرحهما إذا أفطر فرح فرحة وإذا لقي ربه فرحة بصومه. In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, which is a hadith narrated in Bukhari and Muslim, that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said. For the one who fasts is two pleasures. Two things that they will receive pleasure from. If they or when they break their fast, they receive the joy of breaking their fast. And when they will meet their Lord, on the day of judgment then they will be find pleasure and this is due to their fasting meaning that they will be rewarded from fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doing an act of obedience staying away from those things which are which are prohibited and so they'll be rewarded for those actions this hadith gives us many benefits and it shows us that the one who fasts will receive their spiritual blessings in this life as well as the hereafter or that it will receive the spiritual reward in the hereafter and in this life they will experience the pleasure of actually breaking your fast after having restrained yourself and, and the, the, the blessings and the reminder of the blessings that Allah has given us and bestowed upon us, they'll receive that in this life. Because when you've restrained yourself from something, it becomes more valuable. It's almost like the concept in even in economics, supply and demand, that it becomes more valuable when there's a, a low supply of something. So when you're restraining yourself from food, you're restraining yourself from drink. You're restraining yourself from the... of having pleasure with your spouse during the holy month of Ramadan, during the day. Then when it is time to break your fast and you can enjoy one another and then you can enjoy your food and drink, then at that time you receive the great pleasure and joy and it becomes invaluable to you. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was good was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.